Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of the Crazy <laughs> Town Podcast. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive with TNT D I N O T M D H T. I spelled my name. Wow, you you were so into the noises you were making, you forgot how to spell your fucking name. I know, dude. I was trying to. That was my my tribute to Prince. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah. I thought that was your tribute to Chance the Rapper. <laughs> TNT. <laughs> so, uh, dude, thank you for being here with me today. Are you and talking to me? Or yeah, that? dude, in the audience. Thank you for being here today. Whether you're watching us on our YouTube channel, other Crazy Town Media, you should subscribe there. We live or, together. Yeah, dude, you know. Or, uh, you know, listening to us on Spotify or iTunes, any other audio only version, you're missing out on uh, nothing because we're not live anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get to see our pretty faces anymore. That was your decision. Nuh-uh, dude. You, you had to go and change jobs, bro. <laughs> that was your decision. Oh, yeah. I guess you work was. on the night we did uh, podcast. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Blaming your blame on me, dude. It's all good. I don't, man, I'll take it. Yeah, well, good. Yeah. All right, cool. I'm yeah. absolved. Next thing you know, you're going to say that baby's mine instead of yours. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> 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 You're the one who pooped it out. <laughs> Listen, this is gross. <laughs> I was just thinking about how fucked up my Google, uh, my Google, like Google thinks I am because of the shit that I Google. Like anything constantly. that pops in your head, you just yeah. Google. Yeah. Oh yeah, dude. If somebody like, and here's the thing: you do anything majorly wrong, the first thing they're doing is going to your Google history to see what oh, kind of person you are, dude. And they're gonna think I'm a whack job. Yeah, dude. It's like anytime somebody goes out and does something crazy, they're all like, "His social media had posts about X, Y, and Z." He, they're like, uh -huh. "His Google history." <laughs> he just whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> you can go into my social media. Don't go into my Google history and start judging me. That's yeah. nuts. Oh yeah. my! You know God. you can delete all that though. Uh, yes, with, supposedly with Elon Musk Neuralink. <laughs> no, with going to Google <laughs> and deleting it. Um, but yeah, dude, it's pretty crazy. It well, you know, it's like uh, I don't like that we're all tracked all the time, all everything. Nothing's private, dude. Incognito mode ain't private, dude. Google's got all the Googleness and no. stuff, and dude. I've thought about getting one of those. What what are the uh, I, uh, VPNs? Yeah, I've thought about getting a VPN. I have thought about it as well. Because yeah. it'll say that we're in, like, China or something. Mm -hmm. And then we won't be able to get on the internet, but... And it's know. not like I, I looked up anything fucked up, but I do hate the fact that, like I said, man, me looking up just like <laughs> some shit in the living room we were just looking up makes me look like I'm a goddamn deviant. Yeah, dude, that's all good. Whatever, man. I mean... I mean, if you ain't out here committing crimes, nobody gives an F. If you ain't looking up stuff that's truly illegal, like stuff that will go make you go to jail just to look it up... Right. And you ain't out here committing crimes... Ain't nobody give a fuck about you, dude. <laughs> Ain't nobody give a fuck about me. I mean, that's true. I mean, the big picture. I mean, you'd be I surprised what you can get away with just passively. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, dude. All right. I mean, there's a lot of people out there who do all sorts of fucked up shit and exactly. they cop forever until they they just get a little too crazy, and well, then everyone's like, "Okay, we're letting you be crazy on your own." <laughs> And then you had to go be all crazy with other people. Now you're gonna be in trouble. Well, He's like, but I just wanted to be crazy. You I know? just want to be crazy. <laughs> I mean, if you're just crazy in your own home, you're good. All right, what do you got? Dude, what do you got for us have, today, man? Have you ever have you ever dated a woman? Yes. Is that the question? That's it. Okay. <laughs> well, end of, thanks for joining us. <laughs> hey, thanks. For, that's all the time we. No. Um. You know, and like you know, sometimes when you date somebody, man, woman, or other. I've never dated a man or another. <laughs> yeah, me neither. Thank you. Um. Things do not end amicably. Sometimes there's some hurt feelings. Some upsetness. Yeah. Some, uh, have you ever had someone do something crazy to you? Um, huh. Because, like, because you broke up with them and they wanted to still see you. Obviously, like, calling you a lot or texting you a lot. We talked about the lady. She's like, I only texted him 10,000 times. That was, yeah. yeah. I don't want to, <laughs> you know, like, I don't want to call anybody out, but I would say yes, you know? Yes. Yeah, I'm not saying to name names. Like what? Like what kind of crazy did they do? They like damage your property? Did they not telling exactly? But like, was it like? No, I'm, not, I'm gonna pass on that one. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna pass. How about you? Uh, I've never had anyone go crazy. I mean, okay. And I've never been the crazy guy who like. I'm gonna pass on that. I'm not yeah. gonna tell somebody else's crime so that somebody will be yeah, like. Well, okay. I didn't mean exactly. Was it like property damage? Was it like harassment? Was it like you know what sort of? Because you know, they, obviously they didn't try to kill you. Yes. 
Okay. All of those. (laughs) And the kill me part. Wow. All right. (laughs) All of them. Yeah. Yeah. So so have you ever regretted dating someone? That's the next question. (laughs) (laughs) You know what's funny enough? No, I've never regretted (laughs) dating someone. Even the crazy one that tried to kill me, broke my shit, and harassed me. Hey. Hey, she was still fun for a while. Hey. (laughs) It's a lesson. Life lesson. So, <sighs> separation of church and state. That's what that teaches you. Right. So, uh, okay. I was going to go about the story a different way, but I figured <laughs> I would start it with that because uh-huh. there, I didn't even get her name because she doesn't deserve. It's it, fine. She, she's fucking where, crazy. Where, where's she from? Florida? I think it's overseas because the monetary mm. compensation was in euros. Ooh. So, she's <laughs> London, Florida. So, this lady broke up with a dude or dude broke up with her. <laughs> She faked her own kidnapping. She fakes her own kidnapping. They find her uh half naked in uh like in the like in the like she's she's she plans it out that he was half she was half naked, dropped off in the middle of nowhere, whatever. Made it look realistic. I guess realistic. she was found walking, you know, something like that. Made it look realistic. Y- yeah. She made it look so realistic mm-hmm. that she super glued her vagina shut and Wait. said that the man did it to her. What? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, she she, she, went she the wanted whole to make she wanted him to go to jail for gluing her vagina shut. But that's not illegal. <laughs> I guess it's battery. <laughs> but this is the prank. <laughs> <laughs> it's just glue, a prank. Glue, glue your pee hole shut, dude. So Ashton like, Kutcher pops out. <laughs> oh, you been pumped? <laughs> your vagina's glued shut. <laughs> so. But I guess uh, they found her. Uh, they I'm found sorry. they they realized it was her. Is like she was on video buying a like basically a kidnapping kit and a knives that she like oh. she harmed herself with knives and like. But it doesn't. Why did she need the knives if, if she was just doing it herself? She wanted to make it look realistic. She oh, I get like I just don't understand. Like here's you were talking in the uh, last wow. episode about people that like go, get jobs where they can potentially kill someone. Yeah. I don't know how this goes along with that. How, like, why would you ever want to hurt yourself to blame it on somebody else? Oh. I think that's worse than getting a job that, like, you're like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cut myself and say that he did it. Yes. One of them is finding a healthy outlet to a certain extent for maybe some irrational feelings you would have. One is being a fucking psychopath. One is trying to ruin someone's life forever. It's just being a psycho. That's a criminal act for one thing that you would try to frame somebody like that so you're you're criminal right obviously you can't tell the difference between i didn't think it'd be illegal or i'm willing to take the chance i'm willing to put a man in jail forever yeah for capping me and gluing my pussy shut (laughs) (laughs) i will you know and it's funny it's like my mind was going to say to rationalize it like there's really no difference in that from like robbing somebody's house but yeah there's a bit of a difference there's a little bit of a difference (laughs) here (laughs) stole his television (laughs) then then Fucking stapled her vagina shut <laughs> and bl- try to blame and it on try him. to blame. Oh my god! She uh she had to pay him twenty five thousand euros. <laughs> she had to pay him for the def- for the defamation, and she got yeah. ten years in jail. Yup. Right. That's what I say. Wait, how is he gonna get his money if she's in jail? Yeah, dude. They, that's how it always works. They're like, oh, you get restitution, but dude. I'm still waiting it. for the two hundred fifty bucks those three kids who stole my car in two thousand nine to pay me. Wait a minute, like you for real? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, I, I my car was stolen when I lived in Cleveland in 2010, mm. 9. Yeah. Uh they found it, but it was three miners had stole my car. Ooh. They dude, when they when they when I went to the pro- progressive place to like have, you know, cuz I they found it and uh Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the in the car, in the fucking car was bags of Wendy's. Bottles of Fago and Black and Milds. Like oh, so, they, they were your people too. So, man. so they, they just stole the car and drove it around, smoking blacks, eating Wendy's, and drinking Fago. Just they were that, just they were kindred spirits. Yeah, me. right, dude. <laughs> so like, so they uh, so like they found it like it was like thirty six hours later. So they were still driving that bitch around, drinking Fago, <laughs> listening to ICP. Thirty six <laughs> hours later, somewhere over, I think it was somewhere West Side. I think they found him. Yeah. Yeah, and then so I had to pay my deductible, which was two hundred fifty bucks. But they told me I would get the restitution from the parent. The parent would have to pay because of their kid. I'm like, the I ain't never get that shit. Nah. 
I mean, honestly, they did they do any damage to your vehicle? Uh, they. I mean, the the total cost of the claim was like three thousand bucks. Oh. But that was because like they picked the lock, they jimmied the dry the key yeah, yeah, to, yeah, yeah, to start. Yeah, yeah. So a lot of the damage was from that. They didn't really do damage <laughs> to the outside. They didn't like wreck it or anything. But they, they but the inside had to get they had to have it cleaned. So all stuff. in all, it cost you two hundred fifty bucks. Right. I say woot woot. <laughs> I, I mean, say woot woot. Shaggy's there, dude. <laughs> I say woot woot. Yeah, dude. I'm not agreeing with that. <laughs> he stole my fucking car, dude. <laughs> well, are you going to seek restitution now that they're probably adults? They're guaranteed to be adults at this yeah, point. Yeah, dude. I call. I found the paperwork actually, like wow. like two years ago, yeah. and I called the parole officer guy yeah. that was that like was handling the you know, yeah. and uh, I called him left him a message. He never called me back. He's like, fuck this guy. Dude. Like, <laughs> Fifty bucks. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, more important these, shit. These kids ain't paying it. They're back in jail. <laughs> <laughs> they might be. Yeah, they might be. If you're stealing cars at six, <laughs> as a minor, you're probably destined to be in trouble later in uh, life. you know not as bad as stealing a car as a minor is uh super glue in your vagina shut just playing <laughs> just, wow just saying i yeah. wouldn't wouldn't kidnap myself and super glue my genitalia you'd steal a car and smoke blacks in it i would do that before i would super glue my genitalia yeah yeah in any in any in, in any forum <laughs> very fair funny enough i agree <laughs> You got another one? Oh, I got a ton. But if you got something, go. Uh, it's a quick one then. That's um, so in Brooklyn, there was an illegal bar with 300 people found inside. Yeah, I'm not surprised by that. Speakeasies, yeah. dude. It's the modern day speakeasy. The fucked up thing is that the bar had its liquor license suspended since 2019. Mm-hmm. So pre-pandemic. <laughs> it didn't even get it taken away because of pandemic. They just been <laughs> fucking around for two years. Yeah, it was this an illegal bar. He was banking too because oh, he wasn't sure. paying the city. He didn't have to pay for a liquor license. Over 300 people inside. There was only one exit, so it wasn't even like the fire marshal would have never let the place go anyway. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm I'm kind of sh- I'm feeling like it was probably a guy or a woman or somebody who was just like, this is how I made money. Because people make a lot of money being, uh, what do you call those, like host, hostess, host, no? Oh, uh, promoter. Promoter, yeah, and they plan parties and shit. Or they, or they just, or they hype people to come to the bar and then they get a cut for every person who have the entry fee oh, for everybody. Yeah, My cousin used to do that in Vegas. He was like, yeah, I would hand out these cards to go to clubs that get, they get like 10 bucks off of entry and then I got like 10 bucks for bringing the person there because they're going to yeah. spend hundred dollars while they're there yeah. you know and he used to do that all the time yeah i'm thinking more of the person who owns the bar who's actually like running the shit and who's like i need people in here right now right right so that motherfucker that was probably the only way he was making money so it is a sad situation apparently there was like six people arrested nobody was arrested for like breaking corona law or anything but interesting it was it was it just it happened in new york and i'm not surprised yeah me neither not, dude. no well, that's I mean, probably like, more of those you got around a couple million people in new york city uh yeah, Brooklyn. Oh yeah, you get, in Brooklyn. yeah. You get a couple million people in a small place. Every, someone is doing everything you can think of there. Yes. Yes. At and, all and, times, basically. Right, right. Yeah. Right. You're like, oh, someone, someone's abusing an animal. Yep. Somebody's doing that right now. Somebody's, somebody's saving an animal's life. Right. Exactly. <laughs> somebody's playing Yahtzee. Somebody's like having sex. Somebody's breaking up with their girlfriend. Somebody's urinating on somebody's head. It I'm, really is like. I'm sure, dude. With yeah, that many people. It's law of averages, dude. So every yeah. minute. And, and well, especially because they call it the city that never sleeps. When there's that many people, there's it, always it a lot of people yeah, awake. Yeah. Every hour of every day. If you think about there being a one in a million chance of that happening, guess what? Right. There's like three million people. So <laughs> there, there you go. So you got three chances. Yeah. Yeah. So. All right. What'd dude, I have a lot of cop stories. All right. Bring it up, so man. There was uh, a, mine was kind of a cop story, There was too. a... Uh, there was a kid. He was an 18-year-old kid. He was murdered in Gardena in California. Car, car, Gardenia, Florida. Yes. Noted. Um, and then there was, and like, it was kind of like one of those weird circumstances, like, why'd you shoot this person? Sort of that happens with the cops often. Um, and then come to find out, they, um, there was a, somebody whistle blew. There, is a, there was a sect of more than 12 sheriff's deputies with matching tattoos and they called themselves the executioners <laughs> what the fuck? and they <laughs> and they uh and they get into the group by killing someone uh... and then when they do that they would have what they called 998 parties 
and they would have a party with all the executioners together. And then, uh, and somebody's whistle, it hasn't been proven, but there was a whistleblower who knows, how, but there's, but there's fact, more than 12 people with matching tattoos. Wow. And uh, they said when all this went down, they, two people were fired and then six others were just sent to other precincts. So they basically just split the group up. They didn't even like hold them accountable or try to yeah. figure out who they yeah, murdered yeah, yeah, to get yeah, yeah, into yeah. like, like, yeah. so basically they, they were calling it a gang, but like, oh, they yeah. didn't, but they didn't get arrested like a gang, which they should have. I mean, it's, it's, I guess it'd be, it'd be difficult to prove and you can't necessarily bring somebody up on charges without like probable cause and somebody right, saying right, right, right. that you did something. Right. It doesn't make it probable cause. Because, I mean, they could just as easily say that, like, if you ever in the course of duty have to kill someone, then you get this tattoo, which is still yeah. fucked up, yeah, but it's yeah. not on purpose at that point. Now, the the one thing that I would want to know is, like, the names of all the officers and if they've had any... Weird circumstances if, that... No, if, just if they've had any uh, discharge, fire firearm discharge on their, uh, on their watch or on their record that uh, ended in a fatality. Oh well, all, the, all of them do, because that's how you get the tattoo. No, you said you said that was what the guy who whistle blowed. Is that what the guy oh, said, like, or oh, is that, that could, actually oh, they could start what, like going? I want to see in. the records. Is oh all yeah, I'm yeah, saying. yeah. Well, I'm sure. I bet you every one of them probably does. Because then we and then if, you can start investigating those <clears throat> actual shootings and yada yada. Yeah, but we got we got to know that first. So. I always, I always say we got to know the information before we can make a definitive. Right, oh, but absolutely. Do I they? Agree. If they do, we got to, we got to take that in consideration. If they don't, then you know, fuck that guy, and he's, just, you know, right, exactly. I but, just think it's just crazy to think. Like it's like, well, I mean, you, you, there was like TV shows about bad cop sex, you know, like The Shield, which is a great fucking show. I don't know if you ever watched The Shield. I have not watched. It was the a Shield. good show. It was fucked up, but like they were like just bad cops. Like they just. They they arrested a lot of people, but they also let a lot of people get away with shit, and they were doing illegal shit themselves. So it's like it's like that. It's like that. How much illegal do you do? Well, who do you let get away with what? But you're still bringing down. So if you were a cop, you don't you don't think that you'd uh, you'd do anything you know under well, the table? I understand that as a cop, you have like uh, what do they call what do they call them uh, informants. Uh, yeah, CEO yeah. or whatever I think is yeah. the thing. So like if you have an informant, obviously you know they're doing illegal shit, but they're also giving you information, so it's like a tit for tat. Like, hey, it, but like, you know, but they can be like, hey, this is the guy who's so like you let this like low level drug dealer run around, but then he's like, hey, we got a new big guy who's doing whatever. <laughs> you can go bust this dude. It you sounds know? like something out of a movie. I don't know if it, if it's that deep in real life, but I get what you're saying. You you essentially you let some little shit go. So that you can get the big guy. Well, that, and that's how they work. You know, that's how it really works. You find someone, you catch them on something stupid, and you say, "Okay, you can go to jail, or we'll give you immunity if you help us get your dealer." And then they get the next level up guy, and they're like, "Okay, are you the big fish? Oh, you're not. Help us get the big guy, the, your boss, and then we'll let yeah. you go." And then they catch that guy, well, and he's like, "Yeah, that's that's just snitching." Yeah. <laughs> At this point, I yeah, exactly. About but I mean, I mean, that's kind of like the basis for uh, the fucking the correct correctional system as a whole. Yeah. Well, I mean, they don't want or judicial. Well, yeah. System. If you could get the cartel kingpin, or you could get the guy three levels down, yeah. who do you give a fuck about the cartel Girl, kingpin? You yeah, know, it's cool. like. Let this dude sell all the coke he wants if you're going to bust the dude bringing it in the country. Oh, yeah. So everybody's a 6'9 when it comes down to it. True. Everybody's just like, well, you're going to give me 99 years? No, I'll take three. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or none, you know, depending yeah. on who, what you're able to give them. Yeah, this man did it, and I'll take three. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Yeah. So one last story to fit in. That's so up. remember how we've talked about, like, how, like, uh, in how, like, in other countries, like, communism or, like, dictatorships, like... You know, like, you can get in trouble for just, like, saying something or, like, what, you know, like, uh, we talked about China being like, oh, you said something bad about the president. There you go. You're dead. Yeah. Are we talking about the Russian guy again? No, no, no. Okay. There is an Iranian guy. He was a wrestler. I think, like, an Olympic-type wrestler. Yeah. Uh, him, he was sent, he was sentenced to two death sentences. <laughs> How do you? Die Plus twice. six years and six months in prison. They're gonna make you wait and to die. 
and 74 lashes. So they're going to lash him 75 times. Wait, hold on. Then they're going to kill him twice. No. Then he's going to have to spend six years and six months he's in gonna prison. He's going to put his carcass, he's going to put his casket in, in jail? Yeah. No, it sounds to me like they're going to hit him, then they're going to put you in prison, and then they're going to kill you slowly. Yeah, well, yeah, 75. And I think, yeah, they were like, and then his brothers, one brother got 54 years, the other brother got 27 years, and they both each got 27, I mean, 74 lashes as well. What? They were charged with 20 crimes, things such as attending an illegal gathering, yeah, assembly. You can't do that. And insulting the supreme leader. Yo, that's fuck you. Yeah, we'll teach you. Yeah. Yo, where was this at? Iran. No, oh, well, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, dude, that's it's nuts, like, man. and he's like a national wrestling champion or something. Like, he's like, it's like, so they went to like a protest or something. They picked him up. Want two death sentences. Then his other brothers got 54 and 27 years, dude. I wonder what what part of it got him to two death sentences. And I don't mean to make light of it. I'm just, like, I get very interested in, like, what exactly, uh, re- what is, the, what is, for what crime is the punishment a death sentence? And how did he do it? Like, how did he do, do it twice? Think, I mean, any of that stuff is worth death? Well, you know, we're truth, not facts. Yeah. So. So we, we, I mean, <laughs> we, we, we read the story, but you know, we don't know all the charges that he was brought upon. Right. Oh, absolutely not. He, he might have like punched somebody in the face. He might. Yeah, dude. But, but, but it's just, it's just crazy that like in other, like people like will bitch and complain about our country. Yeah. But if you don't like our president, you can say anything you want about him as long as you're not threatening him. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and even if you threaten them, like. I mean, I guess that's a crime. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you can't go online and say, I'm going to do X, Y, Z to whoever, anyone. You can't, I can't do that to you on yeah. the internet. But like, you can be like, you suck. You're an a-hole. You, you do a oh, bad, yeah. whatever, dude. Yeah. But in another country, you could be put in fucking jail for 50 years. It, it just boggles my mind about how like fragile your ego has to be if you can't tolerate somebody talking shit about you. To the point that you like want to kill them, murder them in jail, and trap them for fifty decades in prison or five decades. Yeah, yeah. Or I mean, to the point where you want to fight them or you get angry about. It. I just don't. I don't understand. I don't, I don't know. It seems like the entire world is run by just these groups of sociopaths. It yes. seems like you have to, in order to even get to the point of becoming a politician and becoming successful enough to become president or a leader of any of these other countries, you have to like, just be emotionally fragile. You you have to (laughs) no. you have to lose a part of your own humanity to a certain extent. Yeah. Well, I think the same goes for like being like a super successful businessman or like whatever, because you have the only way, the only way you succeed that hard is by putting a lot of people down. Yeah, and it's like it just feels like you lose a part of yourself. Like you dedicate yourself so much to that that one goal or those one aspect of just like I have to make all the money. I have to make all of the money. I have to have all the power. Like yeah, exactly. I this is how everything should be run. It just seems like I don't know. You know, and it's hard to see to see that side, but like it's like. They say money and power both corrupt, and I could see it, dude. Yeah. It's like, yeah, I have a hundred million dollars in the bank, but I want two hundred fucking million dollars in the bank now. You know, it's like, it's like, it's like, yeah, when you're like, oh, dude, I have, I have, I have five thousand dollars in the bank, or I have ten thousand dollars. You're like, whatever. But then, if you had like a hundred million dollars in the bank or invested <laughs> or whatever, like, you can't spend all of that, right? But it's just like you don't need that much. Yeah, I don't know, but I can see like. At the more the more I save money, the more I want to save more money or yeah. accumulate more money, and that's at low levels of money. So if I ha- if I was like if I looked at my bank account and saw like s- seven figures, I'd be like, oh yeah, dude, let me get eight figures. Like it, I think it's like, I've, and I think it's easy for that to happen, like for you to get caught up in accumulating. I don't feel like the issue is necessarily with the accumulation of funds. I think it's more like the uh, just the thirst for power that kind of kills me. It's like the thirst. It's like sure you go into uh, politics with the best intentions, right. but then that power can, like you say, corrupt. And absolute power corrupts absolutely to the point where, like, uh, Xi Jinping probably had great ideas for China, 
and he thought that he was going to be a man of the people and then over the years it just it turns into something else and now he is seen as just a dictator and an overlord same for putin i'm sure he thought that he had the best in fact he was very good for russia early 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 on in his in his term his first term. Well, then he just got more and more powerful over the, all the years. Now he's like, and now, now he's, he's like, like I don't want to. I don't want to go. I <laughs> right. don't want to go. Right. You know, and, I, and I'm not sure about if this is the same with North Korea because that's more that, of like a. It's been like a hundred years. That family has yeah, just run the country, it's so a it's like, yeah. So, so. that's kind of that's. I don't know how that works exactly. Yeah, exactly. Right. But yeah, I don't know. It just seems like when people get a taste of that power, and then they're like, no, I, you know, I'm going to make the decisions, and to a certain extent, you have to be. To pull the trigger on decisions that are going to f- affect millions of people, you have to have a certain degree of, I got to pull the trigger. Right. I guess that's true. Yeah, for sure. But so. when you're not making the best choices for your people. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And an out lashes for talk. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Death sentences. So, uh, but yeah, that is all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you've already done that. This dude does Twitch stuff. TNT Dynamite. I'm on Twitch every single day at 10 o'clock a.m. Central at TNT D-I-N-O-M-I-G-H-T underscore Crazy Town at Twitch.tv. All right. For Jonas, we'll catch you on the next one. We are a